Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get this black lipstick makeup look. It's basically just my go-to makeup look when I'm wanting to wear some black or dark lipstick action. So I normally don't do a hey, this is what I'm doing kind of thing. I normally just do my, my little posy pose thing. But today's a little bit different because I have a Q&A that I'm planning on doing or filming coming up here within the next couple of weeks. So I wanted to see if you guys had any questions for me or whatnot. And then that way I can answer any questions you guys might have or ones that I didn't answer for you in the past, which I'm sorry. Um, but anyways, if you guys want to see how I get this black lipstick makeup look, then just keep watching. Hey guys, I'm just gonna be talking through this. I think I've done one or two of these and things get really weird, so maybe that'll be the case today. I don't know. I don't know why I'd tell you that, but I did. I have no idea. I'm going to prime my lids. I've been using this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I kind of like it as an eyeshadow primer, but I'm also trying to go cruelty free, so I'm trying to use up some of the products that I have that are not cruelty free. Do I need to zoom you in? Maybe here in a little bit. I'm using a beauty blender that is beauty blender. <laughs> I'm using a blunt beauty blender. Oh shoot, I forgot to prime my face. Oh, we'll do that after. No big deal. I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D. <laughs> I'm gonna be using <laughs> Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, Eye Palette. I mentioned this in the My Favorite Grunge Palette video I just did. And I'm going to use, I'm gonna mix these two white shades and set my concealer primer thing, if I can see anything. I don't wanna open my eyes because I don't want it to crease. So I'm just trying to keep one eye shut. <laughs> using this, what am I even saying? I'm using this Sigma F35. It's a tapered highlighter brush, but I also like it to set my lids with. But I feel like it's this like perfect kind of eye shape, right? This eye is set, so I'm just gonna do the other eye and then I'm gonna prime my face. What's some cruelty-free eye eyeshadow primer for you pale chicks out there that you like. I feel like I need to use eyeshadow primer, otherwise my lids turn into huge grease balls for whatever reason. Back into these white shades here, these two guys. Oh, we're gonna prime our face. I almost forgot again, and we would just never would have primed our face, would we? No. I'll be using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer. I mentioned this in my favorites video last month, I believe, and this is the Nourishing Primer. Put on my fingers and prime my face. I'm trying to avoid the brows because I went ahead and did those so we weren't here for three days. I'm going to go into this beigey grayish color. I believe it's called Lazarus, but also all of the print on the back of my palette is coming off, so it could be completely wrong, but it's this grayish beige shade. We're gonna be using this as our transition shade. I'm just going to blend this onto the outer corner like so. I always start on the outer corner because I usually like the outer corner darker anyways. So if you start on the outer corner and you know you're probably not gonna mess up, it's gonna be easier to blend into the crease at that point. Or if you just like start in the crease and go blah, and you're gonna leave like a big old something or another right there. I'm not, you know, being too precise with this shade because it's light, so you don't really have to. Go in with this dome shaped brush, which I'm really obsessed with. I believe it's by like Crown Brushes or something. I always place my color before I blend it out, and I always use this brush. But I'm going into this guy. Whoa, you're not in frame. A darker grayish brown shade. I'm gonna do the same thing, go in the outer corner, and I'm gonna blend it in that area, and then slowly start bringing it into the crease. And these shadows are super creamy and sometimes they can get a little testy, so be very light-handed when you are blending these shadows and you'll get more color payoff and you won't run into any problems blending. At least that's what I've kind of come to notice. I feel like I need to talk to you from up here so you can see my mouth moving. And now I'm gonna take this Sigma E25 brush and I'm just gonna go, and I'm not gonna put any pigment on it and continue to blend that shade. This Sigma E25 is really good at blending out uh, where you don't have to be as gentle as that other brush. As the pigment's kind of fading out where there's really not much left to blend, I just start kind of blending it up towards the brow area. But I'm not adding any more pigment. We're gonna move on to the other side.
I'm gonna go into this white shade right here next to the black shade. It's called Lucius, whatever. It's the white shade. This guy right here next to the black shade, it's, it's this guy. And I'm going to highlight my brow bone with it. Then I'm just gonna take my Sigma E25 brush and I'm just going to kind of just run this across that edge there. I just don't want any harsh lines. So next I'm gonna do a black winged liner with this look. I'm gonna kind of fast forward through it because I did a whole tutorial on black winged liner. So you can either do the way you do your black winged liner or you can watch my tutorial, which I'll link somewhere near or around here. I'm gonna put on some mascara. I'm gonna wear lashes too, so I don't know if it'll matter. I'm gonna do my foundation. Totally what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna use the, the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I'm gonna be using two different ones. I know that's totally overzealous, you know me. Uh, but this one is a little bit more matte. This is the original one, and this one is really luminizing. Okay, so I'm just gonna do like a little pump of that guy, a little pump of the illumination one, and they're both really good. In my opinion, I just think together they are like a dream come true. And then I'm also going to do a pump of this Manic Panic Dream Tone. It's a white foundation additive. I mentioned this in my favorites video last month and I really love it. Anyways, what am I doing? Okay, so I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender. This foundation is pretty creamy, it's heavier consistency. So I use a damp beauty blender because it kind of thins it out a little bit, but if you want a full coverage, a dry beauty blender works really great for that. So I'm just gonna go through and basically I always say punch myself in the face. Maybe I'm a little too rough with it, you think? They all blended. Not looking like. I saw a meme the other day of Jim Carrey as the mask and his green line. It was like when people don't blend their foundation into their neck. And I don't know, sometimes with memes, you know, when you see it, it's kind of like making fun of something, you're like, is that me? I don't know, I'm so weird. Anyways, I'm gonna be using my favorite concealer of life, which is the Nars Chantilly, 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 whatever. I'm using it as my concealer and I'm putting it, slathering my whole face with this Nars. I'm gonna blend this out using a my same damp beauty blender. under eye with this lunatic cosmetic labs contour palette which is a godsend this is the best palette ever and i usually use a combination of these two light shades to set my under eye with i because i'm really bad at making decisions so i can't just pick one but i'm gonna set my under eye with this i think they're supposed to be highlighter shades but i set everything with it because it's like my skin tone basically <laughs> Pale girl problems. Now that that's all done, I'm gonna go in and do my under eye area. I'm gonna take my Sigma E25 brush and go into this lighter gray shade here that we went into in the beginning. And I'm gonna place this on my lower lash line. This is always super hard to film because you guys can't get a really good look at my lower lash line. But I'm basically just running this across my lower lash line here. And I don't stay too close to that lash line. I do really kind of blow it out. I don't know, I like the look. It never lets me down. Then we're gonna go into that same shade here, the grayish brownish. I use this Eco Tools brush, which is kind of like a flatter type of brush. And I'm going to put this on my lower lash line. And I don't really go straight across, I kind of do a rounder situation which I noticed kind of opens up my eyes a little bit and makes my eye appear a little bit more round. Then I'm gonna take my Sigma E25 brush and start blending this out. I just go back and forth with it and just really blow out the lower lash line because that's what I like to do. Crazy. I'm gonna take this white eyeliner by Stila and I'm gonna line my waterline with it. I'm 
going to put on some bronzer. I'm gonna use the same Lunatic Cosmetic Labs palette that I used to set my under eye with. And I'm gonna go into two different shades. I can't ever pick just one because I'm a Libra and that's what happens. But I'm gonna go in with this guy and a little bit of this guy. And I'm gonna use this brush by Real Techniques. Just a, what are you, a contour brush conveniently put it into my cheekbone area so i look for my cheekbone and i just put it in just under that i'm gonna contour what happened here honey some up here get that jawline going and put it down here but i just like to add a little bit to the drama and then i'm gonna go in with that sigma f35 brush which was that highlighter brush i used before i'm gonna go back into well maybe i'll just do this guy the lightest shade here this lightest contour shade i'm gonna go underneath maybe i should have gone with the yellow too it's a little bright and i'm gonna go under that contour and sharpen it by highlighting underneath it same thing on the other side sharpening it, that contour then i'm going to apply some blush i usually use this shade in a combination with this shade again with the combos but yes this one and this one we just kind of dab literally just boop boop i'm not trying to look like a clown over here and a little bit goes a long way with these products and i just tap it on if i go too crazy with the blush it will look crazy so i just kind of do a little tappy tappy and a little tappy tappy if you know what i'm saying and then I'm going to do another combo, surprise, surprise, with my highlight. I'm going to go into the ColourPop highlighter. This is in the shade Hippo. It's like the perfect light lavender hint to a highlighter. And I just tap it on and use my finger. I find that using my finger with this product is the best way to go about it. I don't know, I just get the best payoff. And then, because one highlighter is never enough, I'm going to go into the Becca cosmetics palette this is the jaclyn hill champagne glow palette but all of these are permanent shades so you can get all these separately i believe i'm going to go into this pearl shade here which is a white highlighter shade i'm going to use a fan brush i'm going to go into that shade apply this like so and it'll just give it that extra ba bam you know what i'm saying i didn't put mascara on my lower lashes yet i'm just going to use the maybelline lash discovery I should probably replace this with something else because this is old, but don't try this at home. I always open up lashes and forget which ones I opened and what they're called, so I don't remember what these are called, but I believe they're from Black Magic Lashes. I will find the name of these lashes and link them or list them down below so you guys can get them. As a other beauty YouTuber would say, pop these on, which is not all how it works for me. It's more like put them on and hope for the best kind of situation. Whatever, I will pop these on. The contraption I used to put on my lashes was from Sephora. I got it so long ago and I have no idea. I haven't been able to find it on their site since and they might have it back, I haven't looked in a while, but last time I looked, they didn't have it and I don't understand because it's the best little eyelash contraption. Oh, there's a dog out there. I'm gonna do some of this white shade here on the inner corner of my eye uh, to kind of brighten that up. So I'm just gonna go again into, whoa, not any of those shades, don't do that. And I'm just gonna pop this on the inner corner area. I literally am going to pop this on because it's that easy. But my lashes, girl, is not popping. Girl's placing those carefully, 10 minutes later, they're on situation. Finally, 10 hours later, I'm going to put on my black lipstick, if I can find what I did with it. I'm going to be applying this with a brush because I like to overdraw a little bit. But I'm going to be using the Lime Crime Velveteen in the shade Black Velvet. I forgot to say that. Now that that's done, I'm just going to fill the rest in with the regular applicator it came with. final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did you can give it a thumbs up say hey girl hey down in the comments box also don't forget to leave any questions for the q a i have coming up so yeah anyways i think that is it uh thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time